it was a good project to me. But I think you got to have a lot of patience to do all the editing. Even though at first it was it was fun, but then sometimes you see something that you need to correct and then like when you correct it it still doesn't seem right. So sometimes that can get frustrating. I mean, you're in this little room. I mean, can't be any bigger than like 10 feet by 10 feet. And it was uh, three of us most of the time. And we were in it for like five hours straight sometimes, you know. And looking at a computer screen for that long, it gets really tiring. Well, first of all, you gotta have a lot of patience. I ain't got no patience, I don't know. I think I was born without none. <laughs> and I need people skills, you know. Some people like, you know, suit, it's like, you know, how do people get around with the suits and ties and stuff. You gotta act a different way. I don't, I act the same way if I was with a whole bunch of my friends. So I gotta get my people skills together. I don't know, I just know how to set up cameras and lights, you know what I'm saying, to do different things. I know how to research, I know about the Urbana Free Library and the archives. I know how to go in there and if I wanted to look up something, I could look something up. You know what I'm saying, learn a little bit. Striking is where you had to take all the lights and the camera and everything down and put it back where it goes, like cleaning up your room after you made a big mess. And so we had to roll up the cords. The first time we rolled up the cords, we got in trouble because it wasn't a pretty sight. I mean, put the lights back where they go, everything. You know, sometimes we would half step and put it back halfway and not do it the full way. So I would say that was, wasn't hard. It was just the, the part that I didn't really like the most. When I watch a TV show and I, um, and I see some, a shot fade into another shot, I always think, man, I know how to do that. I know how to, <laughs> I know how to fade into another shot now. So like, I look at a lot of stuff and compare it to ours now, which I probably shouldn't, but I always compare our movie to like shows I watch all the time. Like, yeah, I know how to, I know how to do all of that. So it's kind of funny. Well, actually I talked to Bud Johnson before he got interviewed and he shared with me that um, he shared with me that he was nervous. He, um, cause we were sitting at the table, and he, and he said he was like, "I'm kind of nervous about this," and I told him he shouldn't worry, because he, uh, he's one of the reasons we're here. And he was like, "Well." We're almost like we're almost like the same, and he said he said, me leading the drum corps and you being a part of this, you're interviewing us, and he was like as young as you are. And he said, he said like, this, he said the places that he went in the drum corps is kind of like the places I could go with the the film and stuff like that. When we went to Muhammad. And we went to that museum. I did not expect to see anything about black people over <laughs> over there. It's like I didn't expect to see pictures or anything, and yet we found all types of stuff, especially about the drum corps, which is crazy. So when we saw stuff like that, it kind of changed my whole thought about this. Well, one, I didn't I didn't know that everybody had knew about the drum corps. Cause I had before this, I had never heard of it. Like I didn't know anybody from it. Like and, and it's funny though, I knew I knew Terry Townsend just a little bit, but I you know I did not know he had anything to do with this. And, but um, but I thought that was cool because that something something major happened around here, and it seems like not a lot of people know about it. Like not a people not a lot of people my age know anything about it, but a lot of older people know a lot about this, so I thought that was kind of crazy. How something like this could be passed up like that. We tell a lot of people about what we do, and they, they ask like, so what is that? And we tell them about the black eyes, and they, ask, they think it's a gang at first, and then we tell them, no, we, we basically work for WILL, and they, you know, they start asking how can they get involved in such and such, and, uh, they ask, so what do we basically do? We tell me filming a documentary. They make them sound interested. Or they sound interested, I mean. 
we did a project on our community, uh, mainly black people, and like stuff that happened, like like we didn't know about before. So we we dig that up and bring it to everybody else. It's about the drum corps and the history of drumming in uh, Urbana. It's about small town living. It's about, it's about, I mean, it's about history and uh, drumming itself. The egos and the pride of drummers, the personality of drummers, and the history, I mean, and the uh, future of drumming. A lot of people think we're doing major things around here. <laughs> they think we're doing a lot of big things around here, which is really cool. Because uh, cause we pretty much are. And a lot of a lot of people my age, a lot of my peers or whatever, they look at us like we're like we're doing something really serious. I want a lot of people to see the film and how hard we've been working. And um I want them to know what happened in their community. I to tell you the truth, I like this a lot. Like personally I, I look at it as making a big move for myself. Um like me and me and Brian were talking about it, and we were saying a lot of colleges will like, I like, will like the stuff that we're doing right now. They'll look at this and be like, they're doing stuff that they shouldn't know about till later. So, I mean, I feel like I'm making a move for myself doing this. So, I, and it's and it's cool because the the program itself is really cool. Like, it's not like strict or anything like that. It's it's actually really fun. So, I I enjoy it a lot. Maybe even too much. You know, when we get the whole group together, it's like, you know, you got some some male students from Urbana that actually do something, you know? So it's like the school that they said that would be the worst school, there's actually something positive coming out of it. Every time I come to the studio, I send, uh, you know what I'm saying, it keeps my mind off, like, in the streets, you know? I don't pay no attention to the street. I, I pay attention to what's happening right now. You know, I hook up the camera, sit there, laugh and joke about it. But at the end of the day, I feel I put a pat on, pat on the back because I did something, you know, so I ain't getting in trouble too. I just want to say I was in, like, I was involved with the documentary. I, I was help, you know what I'm saying? I had friends help me. I was holding the camera. I was, you know what I'm saying, setting out good projects and setting out good examples. I just want to look back, you know what I'm saying, when I'm watching it myself, like, I was the one who helped make this project, and I feel good about myself. As Jesse being one of the pres uh, past leaders, I think he's going to teach Lee enough that Lee's going to be able to take it over. I mean, because we watched him play, and it looks like the kids were listening to him, they was following his orders and they did a, they played the drums well. I think he can continue it if he really tried. Jesse, from from what I understand, it seems like he's more determined to do this, he's a lot more determined to do this than, almost more than Lee is. And if anybody makes anything happen, it's gonna be Jesse. Cause Jesse feels like he has to do it. Like somebody did it for him, so he has to do it for it for our community now. So if anybody's gonna get it done, it's gonna be him. I would think that the drum corps could go far with uh, Lee Duncan as the leader because he's a very determined person. He has the willpower and I can see it going far. I can see it making a full comeback. I hope I become a superstar. No. <laughs> uh, I would say, you know, I hope just everybody likes it and, you know, hope that people can, you know, accept what we have done and, you know, maybe they might go out and try to learn a little bit more about the drum corps. Hope it, it starts like a little fire, a little forest fire on getting information about the communities, you know. Maybe somebody, some people might think about having another group of, you know, teenage males or females getting information about their their community, see what happened in their communities. I would love to see that, you know, be a little inspiration for other people.